baby, baby. It's Shaka being that mafioso, the done died, the coldest ninja with an untucked swinging behind his back, aka Shaka Black, aka Shaka Fuego, aka SB Panther, aka Shaka Black, Shaka being that Shaka Flame, man. Listen, bro. Shout out to Texas, bro. My boys from Texas out here whooping niggas ass, taking names, you know what I'm saying? They over here taking names, bro. So, you know what I'm saying? Crawford just came off a nasty dub with my boy Earl, the truth Spence, right? And and the whole time, because Earl had never got knocked down. I'm, if y'all, my boxing boys know, y'all ain't know, he ain't never got knocked down, but in that. And the fight with Terrence Crawford, he got knocked down three times in his career. That was the only three times he ever got knocked down. So, shout out to the truth. But in between those knockdowns, Bud was going to the crowd because apparently him and the Charlos had beef. They used to be cool or something like that. And then, you know, they started riding for Spence and talking down on Crawford. And Crawford took that personal. So, now he wants to see... Charlo and shout out to Blue Blood Sports because he put something on the table that made me think like, dang, if he can't get to Jamel, he can get to Jamal. You know what I'm saying? One of the twins get it because you know they both twins. So I mean, one gonna feel some type of way if the other take a duh. He just want one of them. You know what I'm saying? So let's see what this boy Jamel got to say because Jamel finna fight uh, Canelo, but he's saying he'll come back down to 154 and fight Crawford. You know what I'm saying? So. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see what bro gotta say about it. Cause he got he need to be worried about Canelo right now. But I know they surprised by that dub and the team, the Derrick James team, feeling some type of way. So let's see what's going on with it, man. Somebody put that shit together. <clears throat> Little Charlo will fight anybody. I ain't never done no smoke. Yeah. He said, I'm really like that. I really like that. <laughs> Caleb Plant did get him a little slap, man. Look, that's. That's when bro was talking that shit. That's what he was talking. About. I ain't see all this because he, he was talking that shit. But I ain't gonna lie, Showtime kept kept um losing connection or something. What's up with that, bro? Breaking news: Jamel Charlo responded to the critics of him not being direct toward Crawford, where he said, "Quote: About to shock the world at 168. Then I'm coming back to hold my throne down at 154. I'm the king." Man, how much of a weight cut is that? That's a damn fourteen pound weight cut. That ain't so crazy, but it's nothing home. will stop me. Because Roy Jones, sorry, I keep pausing y'all, but Roy Jones said once he went up to them higher weight classes and tried to come back down, his body still wasn't the same. So look at Haney liking something. Look at Haney. Mega fights here on out. Haney like after something. my boy rematch. We fight can Shakur, give people Nick. what they want and make the Terrence Bud Crawford fight happen. Lions only I'm in my zone. Shakur. End of the quote. Well, Jamel Charlo did tell us, I don't duck no smoke. Hate him or love him. You have to respect Jamel look, Charlo. Look, oh, they, they get into it. <laughs> <laughs> they get into it. You know, with his head that, that far sideways, he he aggravated and irritated. Boy. He aggravated and irritated. He kept doing it, too. Hey, Bud want to whoop on bro, and if he whoop on bro, he gonna get another. He gonna make history again with three divisions he then became champion in. Hello, and in the four belt win uh, or era. lose, you also have to respect Jamel Charlo because he is truly the definition of a true champion that never shies away from any smoke. However, at the moment in time, he does have his hands full. With Canelo, first he has to get past. He need Canelo. to worry about Canelo. Then Tim Zhu. I ain't gonna lie, bro. They they was irritated by that loss. Tim Zoo ain't no man. I gotta look at Tim Zoo before I get it talking down on him. But Tim Zoo ain't no. He ain't no Canelo. You feel me? He only got the belt because they stripped him from fighting Canelo, even though they let Canelo keep the belt. But you know how that go. We just gonna keep it. Right. After that, he's gonna have when his Canelo toughest went battle up, against because he was Pound daring Pound to be great. Tamara's Bud Crawford. Which, that's a pretty rough schedule, especially when you factor in Charlo has to move up two weight divisions in order to fight Canelo. So hopefully he can pull that off to set up He needs to worry about Canelo because Canelo a, a dog. Against Crawford. Nevertheless, but, hey, it ain't Charlo got some money on his hands, boy, though. If he, if he beat Canelo and then go to Crawford, oh, I don't know, man, because I don't know, man. I ain't going to speak too much yet until I really get to dissecting my boy charlo's style and seeing but uh, the way the way the way bo mac 
the way Bo Mac had Derrick James looking, I don't know if Crawford. I don't know if Charlo got something for Crawford, but like I get, like they're not the trainer. But I know Bo Mac really know his stuff. You know, Bo Mac don't play. He internalized that. Call him Big Mac. Call him what you want. But he eats boxing, and that's what it is, bro. Get that boy his credit. Get that Ain't man no his secret. credit. When it came to Crawford versus Charlo fight, we were under the impression Jamel Charlo was not interested in the Crawford fight the way he used to respond Child. to Crawford questions. However, Jamel Charlo just came out and knocked out any doubt of him not wanting to fight Crawford out of the window. Jamel really does he what he He definitely want Crawford. Hey, he definitely want that get back for Spence because Spence got a little whooping put on him. He said, I Oh, I got a reaction no to uh, Ask uh, Crawford me. Mama, bro. That's I'm really crazy. the big Charlo, which he's moving as such. I mean, the way he's moving, he's on the road to becoming the big dog in the sport. But I ain't going to lie, that road is a tough route to the end goal. Only one thing for sure and two things for certain. Who should Crawford face next? Not a Spence rematch. Not a Spence rematch. Just take that 25 mil Spence and charge it to the game. You're good, man. Be there for your kids because I don't want to see that. Ennis, y'all putting a lot of seasoning on Ennis' name. Uh, I seen him do the little slow mo thing in the middle of the boxing. I, I'm gonna get into I'm gonna get into Ennis though because they say the hype is the hype is real. But if he gets to playing around in that ring with Crawford, he gonna get took down, bro. It, that's not the person to play with. Play with them other dudes. Ennis need to come in there fully ready, like no games, no gimmicks, bro. Because that's how Broner got whooped by Medina. Just remember that. And 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 when he got whooped by Medina, he also got humped on in the ring. With Medina and his career has never been the same after a grown man humped him in the ring for playing so much. So understand what it is. Tim Zhu, I don't see it. Thurman, Thurman got to worry about Clarissa Shields. <laughs> Charlo, I want to see him go against Charlo. I want to see if he can do it, man. Put some respect on Jamel Charlo's name. Nevertheless, drop your thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe below and to be continued on the next episode of. Hey, shout out to my boy, man. Shout out to Aki. Uh, what is it? Aki Boxing? Shout out to Aki TV, man. Hey, uh, man, what y'all think, bro? Like, I don't know. I want to see it happen, but right now, we got to see bro go against uh, Canelo. We got to see Charlo. If Charlo can take down Canelo, you know what I'm saying? He he that he him he's him he's him and 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 he got a big name superstar uh, of one of the considered one of the faces of boxing. I'm not gonna say he the face of boxing, but definitely widely considered the face of boxing. Canelo Alvarez, bro. If Charlo can take Canelo Alvarez and then come back with Crawford, even if he lose against Crawford, he definitely gonna mean payday. But with the weight cuts and stuff like that, we'll just have to see because I ain't trying to wait no four years for that fight, but it's going to take some time for that to happen. Uh, I don't want to see the Spence rematch and Tim Zhu and Keith Thurman. Uh, people really want to see that boost in this fight, but if y'all know anything, Bo Mack got been watching uh, Ennis, and I don't think it's going to be as competitive as y'all think it is because – I don't know. I seen that. I don't know. I think Ennis too youthful and he he boastful, man. And I don't like when fighters are boastful because I, I I liked it at first. I did like it at first, but then when Broner super disappointed me and I seen him take that L, I was like, all right, man. I don't like fighters that play around so much because I want my boys to win. You feel me? So we'll see what it is, man. It's your boy Shaka Big and that mafioso that done died. The coldest ninja with the nunchuck swinging behind his back, aka Shaka Black, aka Shaka Fuego, aka SB Panther, aka Shaka Big and aka Shaka Flame. Whoa. Y'all holler at me, man. Let me know what y'all think in the comments down below. Like, comment, subscribe, dislike, transcribe, inscribe, subscribe. Do your thing, man. Just keep it cordial. Keep practice some decorum in that form down there, man. Practice some decorum in that form down there in them comments, man. Peace.